Here's another problem that involves division with decimal numbers. In this case, we can see that the number outside the bracket is smaller than the number inside the bracket. And this is something more, we're more familiar with in general. And if you were to write this division problem as a fraction, you get 1.273 over 0.67. And again, appreciate that the value of the fraction is going to be greater than 1 because the numerator is greater than the denominator. And we could actually get rid of the, the decimal sort of by multiplying the fraction by 100 over 100. And that moves the decimal and the denominator to the right two places to give us 67. And the numerator, on the other hand, it gives us 127.3. The reason why I'm showing you this is because it answers the question where you may have learned, oh, when you have a decimal number out here like this, you need to shift the decimal two places to get rid of it. Then you also need to shift the decimal and the number in the bracket also to two places. Well, this is the reason why. And I went over this in class a little bit, but I just want to mention it again. So you could approach the, the division problem as 67 out here and 123.3. So the new equivalent problem is 127.3 divided by 67. And I say it's the equivalent problem because you really just multiply the fraction or the division problem by 1, but you're disguising it as 100. So your answer should come out exactly the same, even if you were to try to grind through it with uh, these decimal numbers as they were. An alternative approach would be to multiply top and bottom by a thousand, and that would get rid of the decimals entirely. It would make it 670 out here, uh, and a thousand uh, 273 inside. I'm going to approach the problem as is, where I have no decimals to deal with. So you begin as normal. You start multiplying 670 by some numbers to see if you can get close to 1273. Well, we try 2. We're greater than 1273. Well, then let's try 1. It seems that we're going to have to resort to 1. So in doing that, we'll subtract 670 from 1273 and get 603. Well, it seems at this point we could leave it as 1 with a remainder of 603, as we've done earlier in the semester. We could write it as a mixed number, 1 and 603 over 670. Those are all acceptable. But I think my math lab wants you to write or to determine the decimal answer. So even if you think of it as a mixed number, which would be 1 and 603 over 670, or you can think of it as 1 remainder 603, this number here, this mixed number, can be rewritten in a decimal form. Now we have to divide 603 by 670, which is effectively what we're doing up here still. But you could take the same approach as I did earlier, in the other video, uh, and the sky 603 as 6,000. We know if we multiply 670 by 1, we're going to get 670. Well, that's not going to cut it. Well, let's multiply 670 by something less than 1, say 0.9. And 0.9 actually works quite well. So the final answer is 1.9. And you can check that by multiplying 670 by 1.9.